What's good, y'all? All right, guys. So today we're about to talk about getting 360 waves, and we're also going to talk about preventing a receding hairline. I know these are two very interesting topics, so um, we're going to get straight into it. I just want to take the time to sh give shout outs to everybody that's here early. Shout out to Professor Art. What's good, bro? Do people still? Dang, people still didn't get the reference. Y'all was um, chatting it up before I got in. I started about eight minutes late. My bad, you guys. Yeah, we live, JC. Shout out to JC. Shout out to Jervon the Gamer. What's good? Shout out to Carlos. Shout out to Kendrick. What's up, man? I hope y'all been getting y'all brush sessions in. Shout out to Killer the 2 Shout out to Gaming with AV. Shout out to McDonald's. Fantastic. Fanatic 2017. Shout out to T yes, it's going up quick, y'all. Shout out to Real G for Life. What's good, bro? Shout out to Jeremy. Shout out to Elite Wolf. Shout out to everybody in the building. We getting lit, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, y'all. So we we gonna get into it first, then. Freaking make sure this battery charged. We gonna start talking about um the hairline situation first because I know a lot of y'all because I know me personally I'm very concerned about my hairline my hairline is very important shout out to Zay B shout out to Mike TV shout out to T-U-N-D-F T-D what's good Marquise Leandre all right y'all Oh, I'm just trying to make sure my computer charging right now while I'm doing this because I, I would not want it to die in the middle of the live stream. But yeah, we're about to talk about shout out to Timothy, shout out to Rhonda, Prophet, shout out to Q Bro. I'm just trying to make sure this charge. My charger, I think it's, it's something wrong with it, man. That's that's all bad. All right, oh, freak. Don't y'all hate when that happens to y'all chargers when you trip when like something go wrong with it and then you gotta like kind of twist the wire so it could work right? That's mad annoying. All right, so it's good now. <laughs> All right, so look, y'all. We're gonna talk about this, man. What do y'all oh let me see what y'all talking about? Shout out to Chris Clark, shout out to Donovan, shout out to Trent. All right, y'all. I got out the shout outs. Um, as y'all know, this is the, one of the regular 360 wave process YouTube live streams. Somebody is going to win a 360 wave process brush today. Um, the last two people who won in the last live stream, they got their brush. Um, the people who won in the live stream before that live stream, they got their brush. I always send out the brushes, and this brush right here is going to be one of y'all's today. All right? So make sure y'all stay tuned. We're about to get this live stream popping. All right, so who loved their hairline? If you love your hairline, press one now, all right? I'm going to see when this chat starts going. I know I'm going to see like a thousand ones because everybody loves their hairline, all right? A hairline is just, it's an attractive feature, you know? Um, let me see. LeBron, you love your hairline, right? Thanks, George. I appreciate that. Let me have it. Yeah, somebody's going to win later on in the live stream. And I see everybody loves their hairline. And I, I'm with y'all. Let me put in a one in there, too, because I, I love mine, too. Let me put one. Two. Because 3WP loves his hairline. Yeah. This is a Monsoon cap. Shout out to Monsoon. He sent me this. He sent me a couple of these, right? I haven't really used all of them yet. I just hopped out the shower not too long ago. Slightly woofing, barely entering the first stages of woofing right now. Show y'all my waves real quick. I don't got no mirror with me, so I can't really check this here. I didn't even get no brush session in before this video like that. But they chill, you know? I can't even tell I'm using my phone as a mirror just to reflect to make sure I'm in frame. But yeah, y'all. Let me tell y'all the easy tips for keeping your hairline from being receded. Because there are different factors that go into protecting 
there are different factors that go into protecting your hairline. All right, one of the factors include basically genetics. You already know that. If your hairline, if receiving hairlines runs in your family, if bulging runs in your family, then you know what I mean? If that's in your genetics, then there's not much you could do um, beyond the point of it happening naturally, you see? But that's just the cause of natural receding. You don't want it to be receded beyond the natural receding, you know? And that's what happens to a lot of guys. They have like a small cowlick or they have like just a small spot that gets receded and just hair doesn't grow right there. I know some of y'all um, have that because I even had that at one point, all right? But I no longer have that cowlick problem. I low-key had a cowlick. Low-key is probably still there, but just the fact of, of what I'm about to show you guys, like you see it right here? It's harder to notice when my hair is low, but when my hair starts to grow longer, you start to notice it right here. It's like a small little spot on my hairline that hair low key doesn't grow as thick right there. Brush my hairline into place. And also my hairline in the middle right here, when it grows out fully, the hair right here starts to grow thick and almost as a widow's peak, which makes my hairline kind of look um, not as symmetrical symmetrical as it does when it's um, cut and lined up. So this is what you need to do, guys. The next step is to make sure you have a good barber, all right? Because if you don't have a good barber um, and your barber is doing damage to your hairline, like if they don't know how to line up properly, they might see, they might cut your hair low and then you have a cowlick like right here, they might take your hairline and be like, oh man, it's a cowlick right here. And they might line it up back here to, to this dark spot. But that's bad because if they line it up back here, you already see hair is naturally forming above that spot where they lined it up. So this hair is gonna naturally start to grow back in this area that they push back. And then it's gonna make your hairline look nasty and bad when it starts to grow back. You don't want that, right? So make sure you find a good barber. That will help with cowlicks. That's what Trent said. Christian Reed, you still the best YouTuber. Appreciate that, Christian. Chris Clark, same. Mine's on the right, though. Yeah, scratch that. Mine on the right side, Chris. See, y'all know what I'm talking about. So basically, this right here is, is like a natural cowlick. I, I can't really prevent this from not being here, right? So what, what I do is when I get my hair cut, thank God I'm a coarse hair waver that I can cut my hair real low. So when I cut my hair to the one with the grain length, the hair is lower so it's easier to blend. So this is not as noticeable. So it's not necessarily, if you have a cowlick, it's not necessarily a fact of preventing it because you already have it, all right? But what you can do is when you get your hair cut kind of low, that's what's gonna make, um, that's what's gonna make it less visible. I saw you sub to me. You should moisturize every day, says Jay Brizo. How do you get 360 waves, says David Zo. So basically, to get 360 waves, just plain and simple real quick, you need your brush, right? And then you start brushing your hair. Brush the top forward to get your 360 waves on the top, to get your 360 waves on the side, you brush diagonal towards your sideburns, back, brush straight down, and the other side, you brush towards your sideburns too. Can I get a free brush? We're giving out a 3WP brush. Is this cricket? All right. We're giving out a free brush at the, some point in this video. How can you win the brush, bro? You win a brush by staying tuned in this live stream, and at some point within this live stream, I'm gonna just do a giveaway randomly. Let me move this over so I can see this chat. All righty. Javon said his hairline sexy. SMH. <laughs> you gotta get all the ladies with the straight hairline. Crispy when you line it up. Is there a way to grow your hair faster? Um, well, there are like small techniques that people use, like some people, um, 
they try and get their hair to grow faster by using a thing that's called biotin. And it's basically, it'll have the hair on your body grow faster than normal. But it's not gonna be just the hair on the top of your head. Like, the hair on the top of your head gonna grow faster. If you got hair on your arms, that's gonna start growing faster. Hair on your legs, your back, wherever hair grow on your body. If you use biotin, it's all gonna start growing faster. I need help on my way. Did you mean waves, bro? You must have typed it. I'm mistaken. Thank you, Rhonda. Prophet, what type of haircut do you get? And can you get a dark Caesar if you're trying to get waves? Yeah, you can get a dark Caesar, bro. That's basically what I get. Um, I just get a regular Caesar haircut, which is basically, you know what I mean? A low cut and get it lined up. How do you get 360 waves on the side, says David. David, to get 360 waves on the side, Hop in the mirror like this, right? You will be looking, have another, have a mirror, pretend like this is a mirror. So you will look in this mirror, and then you look in the mirror right here that's in front of you, and then you can see your waves, right? Well, you can see your hair because you don't have waves yet if you're trying to get them on the side. And you just start putting in that brush work. Make sure you brush consistently, keep the strokes consistent, and just put a lot of that in. And then also, when you're not in the mirror, you still got to put in a lot of brush work, David. Zay B says, yo, 360, how do you maintain your woof? My woof look crazy, but I still brush at night. All right, Zay, this is the trick right here, man. The trick to maintaining your woof is basically growing into the woof, all right? So what I mean by growing into the woof is basically, all right, let's just say you get a fresh haircut today, right? Now your waves is laid down just off top because it's a fresh cut, looking crispy, right? Or if you don't have waves in there yet, it's just your regular hair. So what you gotta do is you gotta keep like high levels of brush time. Like you really gotta keep your hair brushed. And then this, you're gonna need a do-rag, right? Get you a nice do-rag because some do-rags, they, they weak, man. You put the do-rag on, it don't lay your hair down right. So if you, if you feel like your hair is not being laid down right, and you feel like your woof ain't laying down, then your do-rag might be like, the material just might not be the right material for you. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind. Make sure you have a good do-rag. Um, I'm going to be trying to come out with some do rag soon. All right, I'm going to take you guys on a journey or whatever because I because first I got to um, find – I'm not going to be sewing them up myself. I got to find, like, some people to sew it for me. So I'm going to go to, like, downtown L.A. and, like, I'm going to find some people who, like, do sewing. And then I'm going to um, let them know or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do this thing for my business or whatever. And I'm gonna take y'all with me, make a video about it. It's gonna be fun. Have y'all like help me pick like colors and stuff. Talk to y'all about the materials. But anyways, to get get your hair laid down, bro. I went off on a tangent. <laughs> um, yeah, you get you a good do rag, right? You make sure you sleep with that do rag every day. If you don't sleep with the do rag on every day, then it's gonna be harder for you to maintain your woof, right? Because what you want to do is keep the hair laid down as you go into your woofing stages. Also, if you don't keep high amounts of brushing during, throughout the day, you keep your hair laid down, then um, it's going to be harder for you to maintain your woofing as it gets higher, right? So that's what you got to do. Get you a good do-rag and make sure you keep brushing, right? And that's going to help you maintain. Professor Art, David, hopefully your dad does a good job cutting your hair. My father used to make me look like it went up too fast. <laughs> what do I do if I have peas in my hair? What you mean by that? Like peas, like, what you mean? 360, do I have to put water in my woof? All right, Zay, check this out. Um, when you woofing, if you haven't did a good job of laying your hair down, this is how you can lay it down, right? This is what you need to do. Get some hot slash warm water and you put it in your hair. No, wait a minute. First, wash your hair, right? Wash out all the products. Use conditioner after washing, always. And then after you wash and condition with the warm water, start brushing, brushing, brushing. Lay it down with your brush. All right, use a medium or hard brush to lay it down. And then put that do-rag on after you put that brush session in. And, and then leave that do-rag on for um, like an hour or so, and it's going to be laid down. Is it possible to over-moisturize? I mean, yeah, it is. If you put too much moisturizer in your hair, it's just like, Come on, bro, what you doing? Like, let me see something. I'll be back, y'all.
I should have been had this light on. What am I doing? Well, let me turn this light on. Tripping, y'all. There we go. Some good lighting up in here. Ah, I need to clean up in here. How y'all summer going, man? How y'all summer? Professor Art David Sporting Waves is okay. Oh, man. First one I use. Fresh Williams. Are you ever going to stop? Stalling and make the beer video. Oh, yeah, Tommy. The beer video coming out tomorrow. I just got to finish editing. I, I wanted to come on here today and let y'all know, too, like, the beer video coming tomorrow. I got you. I know y'all been wondering about that beer video. I got you, Williams. Tomorrow, y'all. The beer video is coming out tomorrow. Can I get a brush online? Yeah, you can get a brush from online. It's hot in Texas. I've been to Texas one time, bro. I was driving by. It was like when I was younger, though, because I got we was visiting my great grandparents that live in Louisiana, and we um we had the mobile home, and then we took a trip over there. We did it. I remember two different occasions when we did it. I believe so. I'm brushing right now. You got to, bro. You got it. What up, Jordan Jones? My waves curl on the side. It don't lay down at all. Um, you must not have your waves in there yet if it don't ever curl down, bro. You probably on the process of getting it to, I mean, wave up. What up, Wavy Leon? What if you don't have a durag? I mean. Like I told you guys in like my last video about five tips how to get 360 waves fast. You don't necessarily need a durag, but it will help you along your process a lot. I've been brushing all day, even while even while I drive. Hey, shoot, I'd be guilty of brushing while I'm driving too. My brush be right there. I just be like, you know what I mean? I'm about to go get that mirror, y'all. I'll be back. Hey y'all, let me just show y'all a sneak peek. Damn, I, I want to show y'all this, but I might just wait until the beer video. I'm coming out with a new brush, y'all. A crown brush. I do all your messages with my hair too. What do how do you how do you get a crown without getting a ball spot? Well, it's basically like the crown area is naturally, and it's not, oh, I kicked the charger. I got that janky charger for my laptop right now. I need to go to the store. The crown area basically just comes in. It's like a ball. Let me just, So basically, like, my crown is not really bald. You know what? There's actually a technique. And that's kind of what I do. Because my, like my crown is not that bald, right? Do y'all see it? If my crown, like, let me know if y'all think I got a bald spot in my crown. Or if my bald spot is not, <laughs> not a bald spot. But like, let me know if it's look bald right there. Like, do it look bald? Most people, when they get their crown to come in, it's like a little soaker right here, right? Basically, what I do for my crown is like this. Let me show y'all. I come right here and I don't, I don't, I make sure I don't part it. Because that's what happens. There's like a, a natural part right there. Shout out to Christian Reed up in the building. But yeah, see 360 way process Z. He said I don't have the ball spot like that. Now, if I brush my hair a certain way, then you know what I mean? It parts, and you might see a, a slight ball spot. 
But this is how I brush. I just brush like this. I brush. Let me try and figure out how to explain this. Yeah, you can whoop in the summer, Uncle P. But look, I just brush natural with my hair. Boom, this way. And I try and get this to come in like this. Now, if I get do this right here, you know what I mean? This can help me too because it's more concentrated. Right there. You just got to get it concentrated up in there. If a ball spot starts to appear, you got to just kind of find the right way to brush so it won't be as noticeable. But you're always going to have like something that's slight right there because the hair naturally parts right there. That's why you see everybody when they get their crown to form. Oh, this is this is a new 3WP brush, y'all. It's a beard and crown brush, but it ain't come out yet. I'm about to drop it soon. <laughs> it's a beard and crown brush, y'all. Y'all the first to see this in the live stream. Nobody else see, well, I showed it to Snapchat, but that was one. It's for the beard and for the crown, y'all. It's a facial hairbrush. Should I cut my hair low to fix spots where my line is receding? Um, see, bro, it's not necessarily gonna fix the receding spots if it's natural receding. So first you gotta understand you got to figure out i started reading this i forgot your question he said oh yeah fix the receding so you got to figure out if it's a natural receding or if it's an unnatural receding if it's natural there's not much you can do about it if it's not natural meaning somebody is shaving your hairline backwards and not doing a good job at lining it up the way that you can fix this it's step one, letting it grow back. I know it sucks. Sometimes the gold brush, the gold edition is coming out next month. Like in two or three weeks, the gold edition will be on 360wayprocess.com. I might let you guys pre-order and receive a discount if you pre-order. But um, what else, what else was I going to say? Yeah, that's just simple right there. But yeah, about the hairline part that I was telling him about um yeah you gotta let it grow back and i know it sucks if you have to like not get a haircut or like well you can't get a lineup bro if you get a lineup it's, it may not look that good so you gotta let that hair start to grow back so that when you finally get your cut well, but, but but look if it's unnatural that means somebody was pushing it back so you gotta go to somebody else that really knows what they're doing that way when they cut your hair They'll cut this level low, right? They'll cut that low, and then they won't push the line back, even if it's not as thick as the um, parts that didn't get receded. So a, a skilled barber, you won't even have to say nothing to the barber. He's going to recognize, okay, this hair right here is lower than this hair right here. So what he'll do is he'll cut that low and kind of blend it if necessary, and then he'll just line it up along the light path. And he might use like um, some some touch up tools to make it look darker, which will make it look nice for like a week or two. Um, but that will also give your hair time to grow back too and still look nice. Mike says cut it or cut it yourself. Yes, but if you don't, if you're not that good, then you might not do a good job. What's up? My waves is tough. Hey, shout out to G T E X G Tex. His waves in there swimming. The 360 wave process brush, this blue edition, you can find it on 360wayprocess.com and it has all the information about it. They are not on Amazon. What up, Ron? It's a great day to be a waiver, y'all. It's a great day to be a waiver. My football coach in high school, we were the, um, the Romans, LA High School Romans. So every time we come out, for, for practice, he'd be like, it's a great day to be a Roman. <laughs> and then we all repeat it. It's a great day to be a Roman. I'm having fun remembering that name. 
But look, every time I say it's a great day to be a waiver, everybody got to say it's a great day to be a waiver. <laughs> We're about to be lit. Can you, rec can you remove a crown? What you mean by remove it? And when you say crown, do you mean a ball spot or do you mean just the, the occurrence of hair around that area? What's up, bro? Drop gold brushes, fam. The gold, where's the 3WP gold dishes? It's right here, y'all. I want to show y'all something. I'm about to show y'all something. Just the gold edition. They coming out, man. I love this gold edition, man. It's so beautiful. It go with this gold chain. It's so smooth too. Like that's what I love about it. And it's like, you know how some soft brushes are so soft that they feel like they're not doing nothing to your hair at all? Even when you have like a low cut, you be like, all right, it's cool. It's like a little massage or whatever. Yeah, it feel good because it's soft, but it feel like it ain't, it ain't really nothing. This one right here is soft. You can feel how soft it is when you brush, but it has just that the right amount of firmness that you actually feel like it's doing something to your hair. Like usually you don't associate a soft brush with having pull, but this soft brush has pull while remaining soft at the same time. So it feels soft, but at the very same time, I think it's because there's so many bristles here that cover so much surface area. It just has that extra pull that you can feel it. All your brushes are beautiful. I wish I could get one. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Man, you never answer my fuck you bye. <laughs> bro, what you saying? I didn't see your message. You see, it's a lot of people commenting. Tay, Tay got hurt, y'all. He butt hurt right now. What's your snap name? My Snapchat name is Rashad Rock. Are you going to cut the beard? Oh, y'all know what I'm going to do? What I've been considering? I'm about to get that ball fade again. Yo, answer my question, please. What's your question? I got a fade of waves. Find it. Make a challenge of the normal person cutting your hair. How you find your crown? The crown is at the back right here, bro. Boom, boom. Thank you, Omar. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> You should have left your questions, hey man. I could have answered it right there when I seen it, when I seen your comment. Yo, he read my comment. Of course, I read y'all comments, Chad. Are you going to cut the beard? Now, I'm not cutting the beard, bro. The beard is here to stay. It's a magnificent beard. Got to stay motivated, Nelson. Can you get waves with a hard brush? Yes, you can. How can you keep your hairline from going back? So basically, bro, to keep your hairline from going back, when I start to, to answer somebody's question, if you comment right after them, I might not see it because it goes so quick. So you got to wait until I start reading the questions and then boom, boom, and I'll be perfect. But yeah, to um, keep your hairline from receding, bro, basically, if you want to keep your hairline from, from receding, how I'm going to say this, if you want to prevent your hairline from receding in an unnatural way, what you should do, Eat healthy, bro. Because if you're not feeding your body the right nutrients, that's going to make your health deteriorate. Your body's not going to have the right nutrients to just be healthy and to just make your hair healthy and to feed your body. You know what I mean? In your mind. So that's one. Drink water, eat healthy, eat your vegetables. All right? And that's going to give your body the nutrients it needs to just look good on the outside too, right? Also, if you got to check your barber, all right? If you... If you look at your hairline, like take a picture before you get your hair cut, and then take a picture after, and then see what your hairline looked like. If you look at it, you see like, oh, okay, my hairline was like right here, and I was right here after the cut. You know what I mean? You gotta be like, bro, I need a new barber. You gotta go find somebody that's good. Because unnaturally, because that's what happens to a lot of people. Their hairline starts to, um, they, it be good, right? And then it just get receded in an unnatural way and sometimes some people don't even recover from that, right? If your hair, if your hairline get receded unnaturally, as in somebody just pushed it back, so you just gotta you gotta be defensive with it. Do a shower brush tutorial. 
all right, I got you. Let me write that. I'm gonna send myself an email right now. Cause I've been sending my myself emails lately with the video ideas. I, I don't shower brush, but I can show y'all a shower brush method that can work for y'all. Answer the damn question I have asked like 10 times, says Uzi Jr. He getting the hot, y'all. He butt hurt. What's your question, Uzi Jr.? Orthodox 99, what size haircut should I get for straight hair waves? For a straight hair waves, usually it's like a three and above. Three with the grain. Professor Art, Jason King. After brushing and styling and you do ragging overnight, do your hair feel like it's just sticking to your head and feel really rough? If so, what do you do? What do you mean by really, really rough? Because when I, when I get a lot of brush sessions in, I, I can understand what you mean by feeling like it's sticking to your head because you put so much brush work in, like you put this brush to work so much, you brush pretty much for like an hour and you put the brush away and like you be like, oh, is the brush still here? You feel the, you feel the bristle still low key, right? Just like if you put like a coin on your forehead like this and stick it there for like 30 seconds and then somebody take it off, it's going to still feel like it's there. So um, that's what I, I feel you on that part. But as far as feeling rough, I don't know about that because when I feel my hair, I feel the grooves, the texture, but it don't feel rough to me. Appreciate you, S. Sap. Elite WOF. I'll be back to the stream, Rashad. All right, bro. Let's do a vid together, it says Furious Chopper TV. What I want to do, y'all, is I want to get some waivers to, to come join on my live stream. All right, like Wavy Leon, we got some waivers out there that be making videos that like helping the waivers in the wave game. So I want them to like come hop on this live stream like sometimes. So if you want to hop on the live stream, I got to come up with an email for this. And just let y'all hop on so y'all can just talk and we can all talk. Because you know how how some people like when they get on their lives you can have other people here so i want to do that but i just gotta i gotta sit down and just learn how to do that all you idiots have you can't be talking about people like that bro do you woof now things going up quick i've texturized my hair i have ways but i'm worried advice please don't texturize your hair bro that's that's the worst you gotta you got ooh, that's the worst bro I just don't texturize it, bro. I am. Am I supposed? I've been in the wave game. How long you been in the wave game? I've been waving since two thousand. I can't remember, but I know it's since the ninth grade. Let's do a photo shoot. We got to run. Let me see when when I'm have time though. Next time I get my haircut, we can do one. I don't know when I'm gonna get my haircut though. That's. Let me look at this calendar real quick. Today is the 20th, today's Wednesday. I'm about two weeks since my last haircut. Probably not even two weeks. And I haven't been, I haven't looked in two sessions. So I, I got my haircut. Appreciate that, Footy. I haven't whooped since. Well, my whoop sessions has just been low. I'm, I'm gonna get a cut next week. Dang, I wanna get a cut before then though, because I got some video ideas that, dang, I, I'm gonna figure it out, bro. Just hit me, bro, on Snapchat. Hello, I would like to know if you, think a Diane 8119 is a good brush because I just started 8119 I think I've got one of those let me see real quick this brush right here bro that's an all right brush the thing is with these brushes nowadays like it's a cool little brush But this is, oh, let me move that, all right. How can I contact you, says Furious Chopper. Hmm, the best way to contact me is to comment on my Instagram picture fresh when I post it. All right, Ron, I feel kind of sick. I need some water right now. I need some water, y'all. Oh, man, I need some water. I Yeah. 
this cheap ass glass. That's much better. Gurad, Shamik. Thank you, Furious Chopper TV. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's do a giveaway, y'all. Are you about to give away this brush? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. We're about to give away this brush, y'all. Somebody about to win this. 3WP brush, right here. Make sure I hit the like button right now. Can we get the maximum number of likes that we can get right now, everybody? And we're about to give this away. What's your question, Nashir? <laughs> Jordan says, girl calling him, but he in the live stream. <laughs> you should, should I get my waves to come in faster? I've been winning. All right, y'all, we're about to give it away. Make sure y'all hit the like button. We need everybody to hit the like button. What we about to do? All righty. Let me see something real quick. Yo, how low do you cut your freaking hair? And is the Diane 8159 a good brush? So basically, the Diane 8159 is a hard brush, Zay, and that's a cool little brush. And I cut my hair to a one with the grain. If you want to know about my haircut technique, then search on YouTube, 360 Wave Process Haircut Routine. You're going to see a video I did about what I do to cut my hair, the length I cut it, what I be doing. <clears throat> an inexpensive hard brush, you can get an Annie. An Annie hard brush, those are inexpensive and I think they're cool until they wear out. That's the, the poor, poor side about it being inexpensive. I, got, I just dropped my gold edition right here, but it's still cool. The paint jobs on these gold editions are better because I have to get the quality up. All right, so this is an Annie right here. It's a, this is actually a medium. It's, it's, it's a bit worn out, as you can see. But these are cool. The 3WP brush. We were supposed to give away a brush right now. Y'all made me forget. Nasir, what is your question? Mendez, I'm gonna DM you on IG. I don't, like my DMs on, I, if you DM me on Instagram, I'm most likely not gonna answer because there's so many DMs in there, I just don't be going in there like that. Appreciate you, Rhonda. Appreciate you, Furious Chopper TV. What I'm gonna do to do this giveaway is, let me let me check something out real quick. Mm, 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 mm. All righty. This is what I'm about to do, y'all. I got the idea down. Lindsay, what's up, bro? Appreciate you, William. Nasir, I got a fade with Wiz, and I'm thinking about going 
all around waves. It's woofing for like 11 weeks good. Um, so if you get your haircut and then you wait 11 weeks to get another haircut, that's cool. That's a long time woofing if you have coarse hair. Like if your hair texture is similar to mine, then um, you yeah, have a long time woofing. That's like two months of woofing, bro. That's cool. If you could do it, then do it. Like that's real good. You put in a lot of brush work. Boom, 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 boom. Are you whooping like that? You get that haircut, clean. Clean. Is it possible to get 360 waves with a ball fade? I am gonna give the brush away, guys, but I just started getting into these questions again. My bad. Um, yeah, it's possible to get three. Well. It's hard to call it 360 waves with that ball fade because, I mean, you got a ball, you ball like the sides low key. So let me show you this though. I got a picture when I have my ball fade. And I think my next haircut is gonna be a ball fade too. I'm trying to find that picture real quick. Like, let me, I found it. Like this one, I had a ball fade. Y'all, I can't even see it that well. And I still have waves. Like the waves was, let me see, this picture might be better to show y'all. Like I still have waves low key trying to go down to the side, as you can see, right? You can low key see it. So it's like, are those considered 360s? That's the question. And the back of my head was almost like pretty much bald. Like, Scout. The waves on the back will scout. So it wouldn't necessarily be 360s. The 360 wave process brush is on sale. I have a link in the description. I can now pronounce your name. E. Itlawa. Ugunda. I'm trying to pronounce it, bro. But yeah, I have a link in the description, 360wayprocess.com forward slash shop. You can, um, you can order a 360 wave process brush. How will you give the brush away? Basically, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some type of contest where I have you guys complete a small task, and then I pick the winner from the people who completed the task. And that's how I give the way a brush. And then I contact that person. Usually I'll be doing it on Instagram. I'll tell you guys to do something on Instagram and then I pick somebody and then um, what I do is I, I send them a DM on Instagram and I tell them how to clean their prize brush and then I send it to them. But will we get a chance to win the brush? Yeah, everybody that's here right now, y'all gonna hear me say whatever I say, the small task, and then that's when we do it, you know what I mean? Let's do it right now. I've been stalling too long. All right, let me see. This is what I need y'all to do. All right, so I need y'all to all go to Instagram right now. But wait, don't go yet, because I got to let y'all know what to do. And like the newest 360 wave process picture. Actually, like the, the top three, all right, the most recent three. And then comment on the newest picture anything you want and i'm gonna go through the comments of the newest picture and pick somebody that's all you got to do like three pictures of 360 wave process on instagram and then comment anything you want on the newest picture and i'm gonna pick somebody the gold brush on sale the gold brush is not on sale yet but you can see it if you go to the 360 wave process website, I made the page for it, but the reason why it's not on sale yet is because I don't have the stock yet. So I'm not gonna put it on sale if I'm not gonna be able to ship it to anyone. But I would do the pre-orders. That way you could put your order in early. And then as soon as I get them, I mean, I ship it out to you since your order was already placed. On the side of waves, cricket on top, how to fix. One side of waves cricket on the top. Basically, bro, if you got a side that's like cricket, 
then what you got to do is get you a straight brush, right? And kind of fix the way you brush that side. Keep it consistent. You, sometimes if it's too like damaged and just out of place, it might be best to scalp. So um, if, if you feel like you need to scalp, scalp it. And then um, now I need to start to make sure you keep those brush strokes consistent. What you ask, Ayo, hey, Omatala? Well, I have course hair. I just started waving. All right, y'all. Shout out to everybody that's going to Instagram. The Instagram is going crazy right now, as y'all can see. Going crazy. Just like three pictures and then leave a comment on the newest picture. That's all you got to do. And then I'm going to go pick somebody. It's going crazy, y'all. I'm about to pick somebody, man. I had so many of y'all showing too much support. I didn't want to give out too many 3WP brushes today because like, I got to save some for the people who ordered, but I might just have to. Actually, I do got some. I do got some I can give away, though. All right, y'all, I'm going to pick somebody from the comments. I'm going to just give you a little bit more time to, to get that in. All right, y'all, I think most of y'all are done. We got 94 people in the building. We had like 130-ish before uh, everybody left to go to Instagram. I'm going to give y'all a couple minutes because, um, I mean, let some people get back in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll through these comments right now on Instagram, and then, um, you know what I mean, pick somebody. If my phone will let me in it right now. All right, I'm about to pick somebody from the comments. We got LaShawn said he already waving like crazy. He just want the brush. <laughs> Swim, swim, pick somebody for what? Birdman must have just got in the, <laughs> in the live stream. Somebody want to tell Birdman? Put some respect on Birdman's name, too, when y'all tell him. <laughs> I feel like my hair grows. Oh, let me pick somebody, man. All right. So I'm going to pull up on this. I'm going to pull up on him. Put Birdman going to pull up. I forgot how that meme go. I was gonna say it. Alrighty, man. So basically, for those of you who did not, who just got here, I'm gonna let y'all know what people had to do. How do I grow a beard? The video tomorrow is gonna talk about how to grow a beard faster. It's gonna drop tomorrow. So if you just got here, and people coming back in too. To win the brush, that's what we're doing right now. Somebody's about to win this brush right now. And I told them all they have to do is go to the 360 Wave Process Instagram, like three pictures, and then comment on the newest picture. And I'm gonna pick somebody from the comments right now. So what I'm about to do is load all of the comments. I'm gonna load all these comments right now. So that everybody has a fair chance to I mean be seen and be picked. Mm -hmm. 
That's a lot of comments. Some people just left because it was like 95 people in a second ago. And right when I said the I can try and do it then. All right, Birdman about to try. So I'm I'm about to refresh this because I see people just left. And then some people coming back now. So they must have just went and did that. So I'm gonna refresh this. Yep. So people just came and did it. Yep, yep. They still going. People still going. Like right when I said that, people start going again. Michael said, forget the giveaway. <laughs> he wanna ask, answer, he wanted me to answer the questions. Hey Rashad, I heard you using different type of brushes, can you? How's your connections? Yeah, bro. If you use if you use various type of brushes too much, then that can affect the way your pattern comes out. And sporting waves are good pomade. Personally, I do not like sporting waves. 3WP giveaway. All right, I'm put the 3WP brush back here. Somebody about the window. <laughs> I should move it over a little bit towards. <sighs> Somebody about to win. It's still too far. That brush is up for grabs right now. I'm about to pick somebody. All right, so everybody should have been done with the three likes on Instagram by now and then leaving a comment on the newest picture. So now I'm about to load all the comments. Oh crap. Let me look at how many it is. Yeah, it's a lot. All right, no, let me do this real quick. All right, let me let me load these comments. It's a lot. There's a lot of comments, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Let me scroll through these comments. I'm just liking comments right now. All righty, I'm picking people. I'm just scrolling through just to look at people, look at everybody, you know what I mean? Give people a chance. Scrolling through, just liking people, comments. <laughs> he said, give it to me. <laughs> Let me look at this person. I like their comment. It's private though. <laughs> it said pick me or else. And then he got a the icon of a little baby. <laughs> it's funny. With the memes. I might pick him. Wavy Diddy. I might pick Wavy Diddy. I just follow the Wavy Diddy though.
Jordan. I was about to pick Jordan. Let me see. I'm still scrolling though, because I'm like halfway down. So I'm just trying to, you know what I mean, give everybody a chance to be seen. Can I please? Swim, swim. Let me see. I know y'all, y'all like all oh, impatient right now. <laughs> I can't even like no more pictures. I must have, Instagram must have think I'm spamming. All right, let me see, let me pick somebody. My brother Shay, he look like a waiver. Brother Shay might win right now, Detroit, Michigan. I'm just following people right now because I know y'all are real supporters right here. So you know what I mean? I gotta show my subscribers, my my real supporters love. Follow them back. All right, I'm about to pick somebody. I'm looking for what's his name? Detroit, Michigan. My bad. There we go. I think this is him. Yes, sir. This is the guy who won, you guys. Right here. Congratulations to J. Gates. Instagram name is J A Y dot g a t e s s s shout out to you my guy you just won you live in detroit i hope you use the your 3wp brush to um you know I mean? advance your ways i appreciate everybody who just um partook in this giveaway i do a giveaway every single time i go live all right just so you guys know it's a 360 way process tradition as long as i have 360 way process brushes I will do a giveaway every time I go live onto YouTube. Um, I'm thinking about, you know what I mean, when the 360 way process gold edition comes out, I might, I'm gonna give away a couple of these, you know? Not, a, I might just give away a few only though, but only on rare occurrences, you know? Shout out to Corey Clark, why you mad, bro? I didn't know where to comment, just on the first picture. Answer question, bro. What's your question, Isaiah? So right now we're about to finish answering questions. Got me up at 2 a.m. Where you live at, bro? <laughs> 2 a.m. Let's go. All right. Congratulations. I didn't even I got a comment. Hold on with him. I gotta let him know how to claim his prize. What I want to do. 
is copy and paste from the last winner because I don't feel like typing that in. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to read some more questions. This DMs is too many messages, man. I found it. Cool. So let me find him real quick. Whoa. I lost him. All right, y'all. Might as well send me one real fast, bro. I live in the city. <laughs> what city you live in, bro? I just cut my dreads last week. Can I go ahead and start woofing? I already got ripples. Yeah, bro. I got a video about how to go from dreads to 360 waves, too. Search that on YouTube. S A S A P. How you gonna say that to me, bro? Yeah, search that on YouTube, bro. How to go from 360 waves from dreads to 360s. I got some tips for you. What up, Kareem? Detroit. You gotta link up with him then. I can't even find his Instagram right now. I thought I followed him. It's just not showing up at the top though. What, what did I say his Instagram name was? The winner? Everybody's gonna comment that on Instagram. Yeah, he said it was at Birdman. <laughs> it's on the, the 360 Wave Process website, Birdman. I ain't seen your videos no more. You haven't seen them? Post London times for when you're streaming too, cause I caught this one by luck. Post the London times? All right, I gotta just post for like London, for the UK, East Coast, West Coast. The first time I woofed long enough, I gained progress a little coming on my sides, thank you. No problem, killer DA2. J. Gates. Thank you, bro. Is it, I straight up forgot. There we go. All righty, I sent him his email. Whenever I take my drag and brush my hair, it gets frizzy and my waves go away. Do certain do rags do your hair? Yeah, if you don't got a good do rag, it won't really do nothing to your hair. You put it on and then it's just be like, you don't even got a do rag on. Why you didn't pick me, says Taj, AKA Butter too. I just picked like somebody random, bro. Barbers be hard headed. A good way to get me to pick you is to have a picture of you, like your waves or your hair progress on your Instagram, somewhere on there in the top, and then I'll see, I'll be like, oh, this waver look like they a waver, you know? Then I'll pick them like that real quick. That's, that influenced me. I don't always pick it like that, but that really influences me sometimes. What did I miss, 360 wave process? You missed the giveaway, bro, if you just got here. Rhonda Profit, first you just, you were showing me so much love, and now you said I suck. What's up, man? You still, but he, I think he's still butthurt, JC. Cause at first he was like 3WP, you, you my favorite YouTuber. Like bro, shout out to 3WP. And now he like 3WP, fuck you. You suck. Even Sap, he was like 3WP, man, you the man. <laughs> and then when the giveaway was over, he was like, um, you know what I mean? F you 3WP. It's funny though, it's all, it's all jokes though. Can I get a brush mostly and went up too fast? Appreciate you, David. Jacoby missed the giveaway. What the best cream? The best hair product that I like is Waving Scout Butter. Y'all, God. Appreciate you, David. Panel. Do you think it's fair for you to pick based off wave pick? Yeah, I don't always pick like that, bro. I just be picking randomly, but I just let you know that like that does influence me. Where is my brush? What you mean, Rondo? 
Yaga Waves. Appreciate you, 360 Wave Process Z. Why are you ignoring me, bro? <laughs> I'm not ignoring nobody, bro. I'm just reading the comments as they come up. Help me get a good medium brush, DWP. I need one. All my brushes got burnt, burned up. Who burnt your brushes up, bro? Did your ex-girlfriend do it? I'm sorry, bro. You're still the best waiver in the world. All the other waivers but her. <laughs> Staff is hilarious, man. <laughs> what should I do to get waves to come in faster? I've been waving for a month and brushing crazy, and my progress is coming slowly. Um, why FNP? That's pretty normal. After one month, you can do a lot of brushing, especially if you have hair texture like mine. If you do a lot of brushing in the first month, like you can brush every single day, every single day for like five hours straight. And high key, your progress still gonna come in slow if you never had 360 wave before. What up, young Batman? Why is it so hard to get? I gotta talk to you, young Batman, too. For this gold edition coming out. Shout out to the shout out me. Shout me out, please. Shout out to David Zob. Shout out to Corey Clark. Shout out to Killer DA2. Shout out to Pano Anas. Shout out to Young Batman. Shout out to Balo Boo. I mean Balo B. Shout out to Ron the Prophet. My hair is starting to stick out and curl like an afro. What should I do? Says Balo Boo B. Balu B. His name is Balu B. You got to um, brush more, bro. I'm, I'm going to talk to you, young Batman. I'm going to end up hitting you up on Instagram or something. How can I get waves? You got to brush, bro. Shout me out, man, please. Shout out to Jacob Wright. Shout out to Mikai Smith. I feel like my hair grows back too fast, usually after a week of getting my hair cut. Any tips? Whew, it grows back too fast. I mean, I guess that's a good thing because I mean, you're healthy and your hair is growing really quickly. Not much you could do though, right? What you could do is just get your own clippers and just trim it, you know what I mean, halfway through. Just keep it at that, that nice little level that you want. How do I protect my hairline? Bro, I've asked so many times, says Isaiah Robinson. I finally seen your comment, bro, and I read it. See, you just gotta get, you gotta comment and I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna read it. Appreciate you, young Batman, but look, bro, this is how you get your hairline, this is how you protect it. So, like I told you guys earlier, your hairline can recede in basically two ways. It can recede in the natural way, which is basically you can't really do much about it because it's naturally happening. You know what I mean? Or it can recede in an unnatural way. The way that your hairline recedes in an unnatural way is basically through the process of somebody pushing it back or basically like you're not feeding your body the right nutrients, you're not healthy, therefore, you know what I mean? It just start deteriorating because you need nutrients to be healthy, right? And a healthy body results in healthy hair. But as far as somebody pushing your hairline back, if somebody's not doing a very good job of, um, you know what I mean, lining your hairline up with its natural line then it's going to start to cause your hairline to recede unnaturally and a lot of people do not i'll, I'll forgive you rhonda prophet but um yeah a lot of people they don't recover from the um the unnatural pushback because like let's just say you get an unnatural pushback one time it's going to hurt you when you see your hair starting to grow back and just look real bad because the natural line is down here, but it's lined up up here, and then it's just start coming in spotty right here, right? So most people they'll go straight to the barber shop and be like, "Look, my hairline is is look is looking bad right now, so I need a line up." So they'll go, and what the barber would do if it's an inexperienced barber and the same barber that pushed it back, they'll just go with that unnatural line. Therefore, they pushing your hairline back. So you just got to get you a good barber, bro. Niggas will put do rags on to protect the way, but won't put condoms on to protect their peace. <laughs> what? A one hundred Weezy, where'd that come from? <laughs> My hair won't lay down on the right side. Where are you from, Birdman? You talking about me? I'm from LA, Birdman. Three WP brush comes on Friday. 
3WP, you going to help or me or what? What you say, power team? Can you get waves with BBBs on the sides and back? What you mean, BBs? Like, B2Bs? Be you just got to lay your hair down, bro, if you got b to beads Slayer Savia. Yeah, one of these days, me and GZ might collaborate. If I, if I end up going to um, the Bay Area again, I'm going to stop by Velocity Cuts. I hit up GZ. Personal experience, bro. <laughs> Wait, Wheezy. I need a medium bad, bro. Keep up the good work. My hair won't lay down on the right side. Help me. What you got to do, bro, honestly, get that do-rag. And we all have that one bad side that take forever. My right side is okay, my bad side too. It just take more brush work. What you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. Whenever you pick up your brush, brush, pick it up with your right hand and brush your right side first. So that right side could get more brush time and therefore catch up and then it's gonna start learning to lay down. But you just gotta brush it more so it can get that brush time. What y'all think about this new 360 wave process brush though? I got something, y'all, up in here. But I haven't showed y'all this yet. This is on the low right here. Y'all wanna know what's up in here? Comment the number zero if you wanna know what's up in here. I already showed y'all. Power Team L. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question and walk off. It's a helicopter over there. This man got his own pomade. Not yet, bro. It's not a pomade in here. The pomade coming out later. It's not even going to be a pomade. If, it, if I ever do come out with a pomade, it's going to be a natural pomade. But I probably won't even call it a pomade. I'm about to open it up. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm excited. Y'all already seen it. Y'all gonna be like, oh. <laughs> but this was this is the package and it come in. Let me hold, let me put it back in for y'all. So when you open it up, it's like this. Boom. 360 wave process. Crown and facial hair brush. He says just an empty can. <laughs> Michael, funny. <laughs> awesome, JW10 said, wow. Got it. <laughs> wow, nigga. <laughs> Y'all see, can I see the video? Why can't I see the video? What video? He said, that small ass brush. <laughs> <laughs> It's for the facial hair, y'all. And for this crown. I've been putting in some crown work with this crown brush. That's how I started to get my crown to come in. It got more control. Cause you just glide it and it gets that little area that you need in your crown area. Cause when you start using brush, when you start using like a big brush right here, it do get it, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, 
it started getting a lot. It's hard to just concentrate on that crown area. And y'all already know, to get the crown to come in, you gotta treat it like it's its own side. So the fact of just having a small brush for that little area, it helps you just isolate that crown area. Cause usually when I get to my crown, what I do is, you know what I mean? I get my brush, I press the crown area, right? Boom, boom. I do this, right? And then I start doing this. I start going over here, and then I start going over here. I start to drift away from the crown area instead of giving it all the attention it needs, because it needs a lot of attention if you want it to come in. Also, a lot of my, I misplaced my brush on my crown. And that's also why it's good to have like a smaller brush. See, like it's misplaced right there. I'm gonna put that back into place. There we go. Now bring that young crown brush into place. I hope y'all getting breast sessions in too. My time. What up, Brian? Is there a substitute for do rags slash wave caps? Not really. The fact that I can get one question answered. What's your question, bro? Franklin. I have an Annie 216 medium. Usually Annie brushes are good, the medium ones. What you major in, AP Gaming says. I graduated college this year. I majored in marketing. Hi. How long did it take you to do your crown? My crown came in slowly, brother. What I did was I never really paid too much attention to my crown. But um, over time, I started to be like, you know what? It'd be cool if I get some waves in my crown area to come in. And so, you know what I mean? I just slowly started giving it attention. It took me a little, like, to get it to come looking in nice and kind of formed in like there. Like, it's kind of hard to say because I haven't been working. Like, when I first started, I wasn't paying no attention to it. And then randomly, I just started paying attention to it. So I just, it took me a little minute, though. I brushed, no progression. How to let hair down with BBs. How to lay, lay your hair down. You hit it with that warm slash hot water. Well, you wash it first, hit it with that warm slash hot water, and then start brushing a lot. If I have a different type of brushing, will it make the difference in my waves? Can I get waves with just water? You need to um, brush, bro. All right, y'all, I'm about to like end this live stream pretty soon. So if you got some questions real quick, hit me right there so I can answer your question before I leave. And then, yes, sir, we go see you guys tomorrow in the beard video. And it's lit, just like that. Shout out to Killer DA2, got 3WP back. How do you wash your waves with? How do you get waves on your sides if one side don't come in? You gotta brush that more and width longer, bro. Question, 3WP, I have 180 waves. I have hair like yours on the top left back, but I have straight hair from my mom right side. How do I cut my hair? You cut it to like a, probably like a two, if anything. Your waves is cool. You on your snap, it's been a little puffy. Yeah, bro. Do you shower brush? I rarely shower brush. What can I use to, other than the pomade, only been using Shea Moisture. Go to 360waveprocess.com and visit the products page and you'll see what to use. Do you know what a cowlick is? Have you, I have one in my hairline. How do I tell if my barber to cut it so it won't have a ball spot? If you get your hair cut low, like I have a cowlick, if you go back into this live stream, I was talking about this cowlick right here. I gave a lot of tips on just how to like prevent the recedingness 
if you have a cow leak. I rarely shower brush. Have been trying to get waves, but it does not stay. You got to stay consistent with it. You can't cut your hair too low too soon. Do I need to wear a wave cap at football practice? No, you do not. What is your regular morning routine? Says JD730. I have a video called How to Get 360 Waves Morning Method. I got like three morning methods. Search them on YouTube. So cut a whole head at a, to a two. I can't really, if I'm looking at you, bro, I can't even tell you honestly without seeing your hair texture, bro. I can't tell you the right length to cut it. If you got hair texture like mine, 1.5 would be cool. Rashad, do-rag versus wave cap. I'd rather wear do-rag. What do you wash your waves with? Hot water slash cold water. Warm water or hot water, bro? That's what I wash it with. The sweat ruin waves. No, it does not, Michael. You think that I could be? <laughs> bird man, what the heck, man? Just get you one of these, bird man, and you'll be all right. You can do it. <laughs> hey, what do I put in my hair to help it grow back my hairline? What do you put in your hair? Well, it's not necessarily what you put in your hair. It, it might be a factor of what you can put in your body, like eating the right foods, and that could probably help you out. Y'all have football every other day. My hair always puff up. Can you give me help? Or I use oil or something. Basically, bro, just brush your hair and keep it clean. After football practice, make sure you get your brush that's in there. When you go home, co-wash it, brush it, keep it in place, and you'll be all right. What does a fork mean on your waves? Basically, a fork is basically when two different waves on your hair intersect. Best time to brush is after. Kendrick says, I love your brush, bro. It's a good brush. Thank you, bro. Ace, answer this. Do you know what a cow wig is? How do you? I have one on my hairline. I tell my barber how to cut it so it won't be a boss lot. Basically, if you have a cow wig, like I told you, I have a cowlick right here. I've always had this here for a, for a minute. What your barber could do is he can either cut your hairline back here to make it crispy, or if he's a good barber, and you'll, you could, um, when do you get your braces off? I'll answer that in a second. He could cut your hair low to a point where it's like kind of blended, and then it won't be as visible. And when he lines it up, it won't even look like a cowlick there. And that's how you do it. Or he could use some touch up stuff. He could touch it up right there and won't even have to push it back. How to get waves through Calyx. Yeah, like you guys see it right here. This is normally not here. When y'all see me in my videos, like y'all don't see this little line right here, right? Also, when I do this, let me see. Like, let me see. Because my hair is kind of grown out right now. Like right here, it grows. It grows thicker, so it, it pushes down right here. And it makes my hairline look like it's not straight. But if I go like this, I'm trying to see. I could barely do it. So the pressure down. I just got my brushes on. I had them for like a year. I can't even remember how long I had them on for, but it's going on a year. I get them off in probably like another year and a half. Does a do-rag help it faster? Yes, it does help. All right, y'all, I'm about to wrap up this video. Shout out to everybody who here. Shout out to everybody who follow 360 Wave Process on Instagram. I appreciate all you guys. Um, the 360 Wave, I just spit all over the, fuck, the freaking, almost cuss, y'all. <laughs> I, I almost spit all, I spit all over the freaking, what's that thing called that's recorded? I can't even think straight. I'm tired, y'all. I have nappy hair, so I don't know. I'm tired, y'all. Tired. But I'm about to wrap up this video, just so y'all know. I'm about to get a quick breath session in, and then um, we out of here.
I have no products in my hair right now. Oh, actually, no, I do have some products in my hair, my bad. I'm tripping, I forgot that I did put some in there. But I only put a little bit. And I didn't even do the process. My bad, y'all. I just got right into my breath session, man. I got too concentrated. <laughs> I'm having fun right here, though. That's all it takes. You take concentrated brush work. Just drop my gold edition. Got a brush, brush, brush. Brushing is the key to 360 waves, waves. 3WP mixtape coming out soon. <laughs> got a brush, brush, brush. Brush your waves. <laughs> I got to work on my flow. I'm going to put my mixtape on that pit. <laughs> it's going to be called 3WP for life. I gotta give me some beats though. Some hard beats. You know, I gotta get some features. Who wanna be on my mixtape? I'm gonna have to use auto tune, cause you know what I mean? I got I don't got that much experience being a rapper. You gonna be in it, Michael? For sure. We about to, about to take it to the top. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to. I'm about to. Oh yeah, Doug Wavy gonna have to be in it. I'm hot. I'm tired. Do I want to win? I was getting bullied for having nappy hair. So please, Rashad. Why I want to win? Sap. Hit me on Instagram, Sap. Hit me. Actually, if you hit me on Instagram, it might be too crazy right now. And then I might not be able to see it because it might be too many freaking, like, too many notifications. Especially since a lot of people just commented. How long do you brush your hair during the day? As much as possible. I'm not going to go to sleep, but I'm just going to go do some work. I got work to do. Remember the do-rag before sleeping. 
Y'all my real ones in here right now. Shout out to everybody in here, man. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all still here, man. Y'all the real MVPs. Team No Sleep. I'm a beginner and the curls near the connections are forming, but the top is empty. It's not normal, but it might be normal for your hair texture and how you brush your hair. Just keep putting in work. It should all come along, bro. How could I get waves on the side, says Edmund. All right, this is what I want you to do, Edmund. I want you to go to 360waveprocess.com, and then I got a page that I wrote on 360waveprocess.com called How to Get 360 Waves on the Sides. And on that page, I wrote very detailed instructions about how to get 360 waves on the side, and it has a technique that you could use. And it explains why getting 360 waves is harder for some guys. Go check that out. Guwap Gaming got waves on his beard. I'm trying to get waves on my beard too, bro. That's why I've been putting in this brush work. Is it a good sign if you feel the waves but don't see them, says Michael. Honestly, bro, if you think you feel waves, you're not really feeling waves. You might just be feeling the texture of your hair, which may feel wavy. So you just got to keep putting that brush work. See you back on your next vid. Yep, Elite, WOS. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow on the beard video. Can you make a video on how to make soft? What you meant, bro? You retracted the message you messed with. Press enter too quick. For a coarser waiver, do you use a medium brush or a hard brush? Either or. Medium or hard will do. How to make soft hair. Basically, bro, if you want your hair to be softer, you got to make sure you keep it healthy by using um, conditioner after you wash it. Let that conditioner sit in for um, a good 15 minutes. Rinse that out. Use natural products in your hair. Your hair will get healthier. When you do giveaways, I do giveaways in every live stream. I already did a giveaway in this live stream. So you know what I mean? You're just going to have to wait till the next live stream, and I do another giveaway every live stream. By the way, since I am near future, I am going to win one of your brushes. My name is pronounced Puni. Asu. Puniasu. All right, Puniasu. How many times should I put the pomade per week? You should not have to put a product in more than once per day. See you later, awesome JW. No problem, bro. Good night. I'm about to go look at these. Sun over here said it. I need to go work out. I'm about to go for a run, y'all. That's what I'm about to do. It's so good out there. It's windy. I'm about to go for a run. I'm going to see y'all later, all right? Five, wave Enforcer 544. I don't. 522. Two, I don't know, but this is a good Wave Enforcer brush. I like this one. It's a Wave Enforcer. It's chill. It's 712 in California right now. Shout out to everybody who hit the like button. I appreciate y'all. Y'all think I should do the live stream like this? This way? Y'all probably won't be able to see me that well, though. I'm going to spell back. Nah, it's, it's not good like this. And it'd be too loud. Can you, can you see me on your top comment? 
What you mean, bro? Emmanuel, I answered that question earlier in the live stream. So go check that out. In New Jersey and New York, Maryland is 1013. Yeah, it's late over there on the East Coast. I'm about to go work out, y'all. So I'm going to see y'all later. Peace out.